<sighs> wow, Vidi, you look sleepy today. What happened? <sighs> well, teacher, my neck hurts. I slept on my chemistry textbook last night. What? Uh, you know, my friend said that if I do that, the information from the textbook will diffuse into my brain. <laughs> oh my god, Fanny, that is so silly. But what a coincidence. We will be talking about diffusion today. Well, actually, teacher, uh, what is diffusion? Diffusion is the movement of a substance from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. When you say movement, then this diffusion must apply only to liquid and gas particles because they flow. Correct. Solids do not flow. So teacher, how does diffusion work in liquids? Well, take a look at how ink diffuses slowly in water. Oh, I see. The ink slowly spreading around the water. Then teacher, what about diffusion in air? Take a look at how fumes diffuse quickly through the air. Hmm. Hmm. Teacher, how quickly is quickly? It depends on the mass of the particles. Lighter particles move faster, while particles with more mass move more slowly, even at the same temperature. Hmm. I see. So, lighter particles diffuse faster and heavier particles diffuse more slowly? Correct. And don't forget that temperature will also greatly affect the diffusion rate as well. I know. At high temperatures, particles move faster, so they diffuse faster. At low temperatures, particles move more slowly, so they diffuse more slowly. That's right. Looks like you have understood the concept of diffusion pretty fast. How about a simple quiz? Bring it on. 